we can add matrices, we can multiply matrices. So now you might wonder, what about division? Can we compute A divided by B? Well, the answer is yes and no, or not really. What comes closest to division is the inverse of a matrix, which we will introduce in this web lecture. However, just as we had to be careful with multiplication, remember AB is not always equal to BA, we also have to treat this notion of the inverse with care. It is not the same as a normal division. So what's the idea of the inverse? Let us look at this equation with normal numbers, 7 times x equals 35. I want to solve this problem, I want to find x. So what can we do? Well, smart is to multiply this equation on the left with 1 over 7 here and there. Because if we compute 1 over times 7 times 7 times x, we get 1 times x. And 1 over 7 times 35, it happens to simplify, but yields 5. So we find uh, x equals 5, because 1 times x equals x. This computation seems to you maybe, maybe a bit trivial. However, we will be able to use the same idea if matrices are involved. So what do we want to find? Can, can we find matrices such that matrix times matrix equals the one of matrices. So what is the one of matrices? Well, if you have two by two matrices, then the one for matrices is the uh, identity matrix two by two. The one, zero, zero, one. Well, let's take, for example, this A over here. Can we find a matrix, not a matrix, such that A times the other matrix exactly yields this one, zero, zero, one. Let us take the C and see what happens. We use the row column rule, so we make here a bunch of rows and here a bunch of columns. And we just multiply 2 times 3 equals 6, plus 1 times minus 5 equals minus 5, 6 minus 5 equals 1, 15 minus 15 equals 0, minus 2 plus 2 equals 0, minus 5 plus 6 equals 1. And we see, hey, a times C is indeed our identity matrix, but careful, A times C may be the identity matrix, but what about C times A? So C times A, do the same trick, 6 minus 5 equals 1, minus 10 plus 10 equals 0, 3 minus 3 equals 0, minus 5 plus 6 equals 1. So yes, here we have an example where both A times C and C times A are the identity matrix. If this is possible, if we can find a matrix C such that A times C equals C times A equals the identity matrix, then this C is called the inverse of A. Notation C equals A inverse. And you pronounce it as A inverse. This to the power minus one is kind of deceiving cannot really divide by matrices, so be careful, it's just a notation. It means that A times C equals C times A equals the identity matrix. Well, how can we find this inverse for, say, two by two matrix? Well, if you look at A and C carefully here, you already get an idea of what you have to do. You see that the two and the three are switched, and you see that the sign is added. So that gives you an idea how the general formula could look like. Almost correct. If A equals A, B, C, D, so a general 2 by 2 matrix, indeed you have to switch those. You get D and A switch over here. You have to add minus signs over there. And then you almost have the formula for A inverse. You just have to divide by A times D minus B times C. Why didn't we see that over here? Well, here we have A times D equals 6 minus B times C equals 5. 6 minus 5 equals 1. So this division here would be 1 over 1, so that's why we didn't see it in this example. So here we have the formula for A inverse, and you can easily check why this is the case. Just compute A inverse times A, and check whether you indeed get the identity matrix. Uh, A, inverse o uh, uh, A, uh, sorry, A inverse times the A over here. A times D minus B times C, 
over here, minus dc plus dc equals zero, minus ab plus ab equals zero, minus bc plus ad over here. So the matrix looks kind of horrible, but now you see why you have to divide by ad minus bc, because that exactly cancels out that factor, gives a one, and here you have also ad minus bc also gives a one. So now we know what the inverse of a, two uh, of a matrix means, and we know how to compute the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix.